في مقابلة خاصة أيضا مع العربية أكد الرئيس التنفيذي لجامعة الملك عبد الله للعلوم والتقنية توني تشانغ أكد على أهمية إنتاج الطاقة من المصادر المتجددة والمحافظة على البيئة وأكد على دور كاوست من خلال الأبحاث العلمية في تحقيق أهداف المبادرة البيئية Mr. Tony Chan, welcome to Al Arabiya channel with us today. So uh, let's talk about first KAUST, since you are the CEO of KAUST and, and you do have the great big initiative in the Red Sea uh, project and uh, uh, specifically protecting the cor coral reef uh, ecosystems. How does that contribute to the Saudi Green Initiative? I think it contributes a lot. What is the Saudi Green Initiative, right? It's the leadership by the Crown Prince. It sends a message to the world that Saudi Arabia even though it's the largest oil producer in the world, is for sustainability and green for the long-term future. So what does that mean? That means you have to produce energy in a renew from renewable resources. You have to preserve the natural environment. The Red Sea is one. In fact, the Red Sea is the natural treasure of the kingdom. You want to make sure the corals will be preserved and not bleached. You want to make sure that the desert is not going to grow and you have to, how do you, how do you grow uh, a vegetation? without depleting the fresh water. So how do you make use of solar and wind energy? So all of this requires a understanding nature and science. And that's what KAUS is about. So we contribute to the green initiative and other things, like the GIGA project, in many ways. So we, we do research. So you have to understand the science. Otherwise, it's no chance you'll be able to solve the problem and plan for the future. Absolutely, that is yeah. a and we do huge education. responsibility. So we need to educate the young people especially, especially young Saudis. And I will get to the young uh, and youth uh, Saudis in a minute. However, I want to talk before about the what kind of partners it takes to jumpstart a, a big project like that and to actually bring it to life. So we partner with both locally, nationally in Saudi Arabia and also globally. The reason we need to partner is because Cal, we are a very tiny place. We have less than 200 professors, okay? We have 1,600 uh, 100 students. And we are a university, right? We are not private sector, we are not government. So we need to par par uh, partner with governments and also the private sector. Uh, we partner, for example, in the kingdom, we partner with the ministries, especially MIWA, Ministry of Environment and Water and Agriculture, because we do environment, water and agriculture and energy. So we partner with the Ministry of Energy as Actually. well. We partner with uh, the GIGA project, NEO. Very much, we have big project. We're building a big coral garden in one of the islands called Susa in, uh, in Neom. We partner with the Red Sea Project. John Pagano was on the panel. So we, uh, we signed an MOU a few months ago in, uh, in Riyadh. We will put some of our research there and they will sort of integrate us into a visitor center that they are building. Uh, Very nice and, and global, global, let me mention this. Last year, Saudi Arabia was the host of G20. So out of that came two initiatives. One is circular carbon economy. You heard that the minister said this morning. We are very much involved with that. We are the intellectual brain power behind some of the basic science for that. But also coral reef preservation and, and restoration. Yes. So in fact, Cows is now designated the global headquarter, you know, for G20 but go to the world, for people to come and apply for funding to do some of this research. So these are some of the partners. And what's the role of the Saudi young youth uh, in this? All these big projects, do they contribute, uh, Saudi young youth, in the education, in the research, in the implementing of these strategies? I would say especially for Saudi youth. It is their future. The Red Sea is the national treasure. You know, we are, people my generation are not building this for our generation. It's being for the next generation and the next generation. So who else, other than the Saudi youth, would care more about this future should that, except so, for so them, right? So you do right? have initiatives and programs to involve oh, we do, the we Saudi do. youth in these projects? Well, first of all, we have Saudi students. You know, in our admission class, about half of Saudi students, you know, when they come in. We also have programs that train high school students from Saudi Arabia. They will spend the summer here, be in our lab. We fund some of the best high school graduates from Saudi Arabia to study in the U.S and many of them come back and study. So we have many programs like, like this. We have a startup incubators. So if you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, right? You're, you're young in mind, okay? And you start your company. For example, sustainability is a great source of entrepreneurship. We help them. 
Uh, so tomorrow in the Youth uh, Green uh, Summit, yes, we'll be there. We have a student interviewing the His Excellency the Minister oh, of Energy, nice. for example, one of our PhD students. It will be interviewing. Very nice. We look forward to seeing that. And thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Tony, for your time. Thank you very much.